Hey guys, it's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged and today we're going to be checking out the Fnatic Bolt. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button to show support and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. Still crafting, one still crafting. There's one that's seen the smoke somewhere, yeah. Crack them. The Fnatic Bolt is Fnatic's first wireless mouse and even though it is priced at a low low $79.99 it is equipped with top of the line specs. It comes in two colorways, black and white with the black weighing 67 grams and the white weighing 69 grams. The reason why the white bolt weighs 2 grams heavier than the black is because the white ABS plastic uses a special anti-UV formula to help prevent shine and yellowing over time according to Fnatic. And I gotta say, it held up quite nicely. The coating of the mouse is kind of like the Razer Viper Mini's coating, and it kind of feels like a PBT keycap if you know what that feels like. Now, before we dive deeper into the specs, let me state that these are pre production samples, and we did have some QC issues on one of our copies that Fnatic is aware of and has been addressed in the final versions of the bolt. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Let's start with the sensor. The Fnatic bolt uses a PMW 3370 sensor which felt quite snappy and responsive. Out of the box, the default liftoff distance is set to 2mm, so if you want to set it to 1mm, you have to download their software and update your mouse. Updating the mouse was pretty straightforward, just connect both the USB dongle and the mouse via USB cable to begin updating the mouse. Not gonna lie, Gus thought he had bricked the mouse because it wasn't working, but after about a minute, it finished updating and started working again. That being said, do not disconnect the mouse while it's updating, doing that might actually ruin the Fnatic Bolt. While we're here on the bottom, let's also take a look at the mouse feet. The feet are 100% pure virgin grade PTFE feet that feel extremely smooth once you break them in. They kind of remind me of core pads as they are extremely smooth. These mouse feet are also very unique as Fnatic designs ridges where the skates sit to give you a better consistency in its glide. Usually I can feel the mouse feet tug on my mouse pad when making a sudden change of direction. With these skates, I felt the tug a lot less. Very great design and you get an extra set of feet in the box. At the bottom we also have the power switch and as we can see, the bolt can also be used via Bluetooth. At 2.4 GHz wireless mode, the bolt is advertised to last you around 110 hours and 210 hours via Bluetooth. We've been using this mouse for a week and we say it's about right. We only charge both bolts once and we still have some battery and life left. No complaints here. As for the clicks, the bolt uses Kill 8.0s which feel great and snappy with very little post and pre-travel on the black copy. On the white one not so much. This is because the M1 and M2 feel really firm and do not wobble nearly as much as the white copy. This was the issue I had mentioned earlier and has been addressed for mass production so you should not be having this issue with the white copy anymore. DPI button feels really good and firm for those who remap their DPI button. Side buttons feel good with the front side button having a tiny bit of pulse travel but nothing to really complain about. Scroll wheel is smooth with somewhat defined steps, kinda like the Model O minus, and it has this little lightning bolt design on it, it's a nice touch. Here's a quick sound test of all the buttons.
Lastly, we have a USB-C cable for when you need to charge your mouse and the dongle extender. One thing I'd like to point out is that this mouse does not have a carrying compartment to store your dongle and your mouse. So if you're planning to take this mouse with you on the road, just be aware that you will have to store the dongle separately. Now that we have all the boring stuff out of the way, let's get into our experience with the Fnatic Bolt. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the boring stuff. And so let's get into our experience with the mouse, right? So our experience with the mouse, again, has been pretty freaking positive. So when we mm -hmm. unboxed the mouse, um, we Carlos was doing the QC, right? You were checking out the quality yeah, of the mouse, Yeah, I was checking right? out and whatnot, yeah. And the black copy came out pretty freaking solid. Like, there's no button wobble or something like that, right? No, it's it's pretty much perfect, honestly. It's like it's like, yeah. a, it's like a 10 out of 10, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's, really, there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, other than the fact that, again, on both copies, the front button, you know, it does have a little bit of a uh, pre... Uh, post I mean, travel. Uh, post travel, yeah. but... Nothing uh, to complain about. It's, it's, it's really yeah. nothing that's going to throw me off, honestly. Yeah, no, I didn't get annoyed or anything like that. The white copy, like we mentioned before, they have like a QC issue on the mouse one, one too. Yeah. Uh, that has been addressed already for the final version of the, mm -hmm. of the, of the mouse, so you guys shouldn't have that issue. Mm -hmm. Now, this mouse, when we first got it, we unboxed it, it felt like... I couldn't, I couldn't really aim with it at first, dude. Yeah, like, I was having a hard too. time. Like, I, I actually, matter of fact, I think I, I was telling you, yo, I think there's like, like the mouse feels like the 800 DPI we're playing. Like it feels a little faster, right? Like we just couldn't land a shot with it, dude. Yeah, I right? just, I just, I just couldn't really play with it. Um, yeah. I don't know what it was, honestly. I, I, I don't, I don't know what it was. I know whenever you updated it, yeah. uh, you told me that the debounce time was at 12, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it was at 12. Yeah, and but you put it at one, but. Yeah. We downloaded the software and then we switched the debounce time to one millisecond. Mm -hmm. And after that, I don't know, did you notice the difference between the one and twelve milliseconds? I want to say it was just maybe just like placebo, because yeah. by that time, it, like I think like two days had already passed. Yeah. And I feel like my brain was already getting used to the mouse in general. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like it was more like a shape thing, because this shape was. See, when we got it, we honestly I thought it was gonna be a mm -hmm. little bigger, because this thing's actually pretty small, right? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, because yeah. you know, Fnatic makes big mice, and, and yeah. you know, it's yeah. just you know. Uh, not gonna lie, I wasn't a fan of Fnatic mice back then, but this definitely yeah. uh, changed my mind with them. Yes. Um, this is not a big mouse, surprisingly. No, it's really not. Good surp yes. It's definitely medium small. And when yes. I mean medium small, I literally mean medium, medium small. small. This yes. is a pretty small. It's like it's small, but it's not that small. No, but it's it not. is small though. Uh, I would, I would, put, yeah. Again, medium small. I think I would yes. put it right. Yes, and the shape right here is designed. I would say it's more for claw players than any other grip style, right? You for can, sure, for sure. Right? Like you get palm and you you kind of like relax palm and right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, so the hump in the back. So the mouse, the shape of the mouse is kind of like a mixture between the the Aerox Three and the Viper Mini, right? Mm -hmm. If I would be honest, it's more like the like the Aerox Three, but the hump on the Aerox Three is more like I guess more forward and it's more like it's like it's more squared up. You know yeah, what I mean? for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the hump is more toward the front. Like it's like the front yeah, side. Yeah. yeah, This one's kind of like I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's not as high either. I, I feel like you know what it is the hump is more towards the back knuckles right here, the bottom mm -hmm. ones. I feel it. So when I use this mouse, when I put when I place my hand in it, it's like what I wanted in it. It's like it's like what I always wanted for mm -hmm. a claw grip mouse. It's like a claw player's dream because you see, I I aggressively claw grip mm -hmm. my mice and. You know how I tried the ZA13C and I like the hump that's kind of tall, right? Yeah, yeah. It hits my knuckles. Well, this one, the shape of it, even though the, t the hump isn't that tall, it's far enough back and tall enough where it does hit my knuckles. Mm -hmm. And I love that. But it did take me a while to get used to it, and it's because of the size. Because it was pretty freaking small. My hand was cramping like the first yeah. two days, right? Yeah. But it wasn't until like the fifth, fifth day that mm -hmm. I actually ended up clicking with the mouse. And I was doing really great. As a matter of fact, I've been beating my Kovax records, my B1 ATI Sparky Kovax record. That one's so hard to beat. Yeah. I've been having such a hard time trying to beat my score, but I beat it like yesterday and I beat it again today. Um, so I've been hitting my game. shots really good with it. I've been, I've been tracking and everything's been good. Flicking, tracking has been great with this mouse. Mm -hmm. um, the feet, the feet in these things are pretty freaking smooth. I actually like the feet. I'm actually they, glad you get a second pair too. They really remind me of core pads. Yes. I, like, in my opinion, they're basically core pads already. Yeah. Basically, you know, like installing them. They're pretty speedy. Uh, yeah, but yeah. um, I do, I do remember the first thing, like, using them, like, the first hour. Yeah. They were pretty slow. Yes. But, you know, so you do have to break them down, yes. you know. It's yes. not like they come, you know, like, a heat treat or anything, no, right? No, no, no. Uh, but you do have to break them down. But once you break them down, they, I mean, dude, they, the glide's pretty good, honestly. Yes. I like them. Yes, me too. Now, the only thing I would want to see, right, mm -hmm. personally, right, maybe like a slightly bigger version of this mouse. Because I feel like, 
Yes, it took me a while to get used to it, and I like the mouse, right? Mm -hmm. But I can't help but to feel that if it was just a little bigger, mm -hmm. it'll hit right. It'll hit even better. Yeah. Like, I don't know yeah, why, yeah. but because it's a good shape. I like the shape, but I feel like it was just a little bit bigger. It'll be a good, it'll be even better shape, dude. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, for sure, like, I think, like, my experience, um, again, I wasn't doing anything special for, like, the first three days, right? Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, I, you know, I, I think, like you said, I think I had to do, like, shape-wise, it was just kind of new, honestly. Yes. Uh, it was definitely new, but it, but it had some similar features that we've tried, right? Yes. Um, you know, like, with other mice, um, but the more I kept using it, the more I actually kind of, uh, got better at playing with it. Yes. And the more, um, I was just playing better and better, right? Yes. Uh, so for sure, for sure, um, this mouse, uh, for $80, dude, it's, it's, it's yeah. really freaking hard to beat. You know what I like now is yeah. that, you know, Fnatic didn't have to price his mice at, you know, like at $80. Bucks. I feel like they didn't have to, but mm. they did. And that's what I like seeing. I like seeing big companies, yes. you know, kind of go more to the consumer and to the Budget mouse family. community yes. because this is one you know for like the mouse community yes, yes honestly you know like at yeah. the end of the day black mouse um, in your kelly ponos and stuff yeah e exactly like the kelly ponos so now there's a wireless mice for i think for like for every sized hand right so yes. glorious you have the model minus which is yes. a really tiny mouse for medium to medium small hands you have uh the fanatic bolt yeah. uh and for big hands you definitely have the x light yes. uh i i think i think you know those are all really lightweight shaped mice um, yes. Again, this this is a dub, but I think this is a dub more for the mouse community for sure. Yes, this, for sure. This definitely is like the value that would you get from it. You know, you get like another pair of feet too. Yep. I don't know, dude. It's just a win overall, honestly. Exactly. Like again, I enjoy my time with the Fnatic Bolt a lot. Mhm. Mm now, am I gonna main it? If I'm being honest, I feel like I need to put a little bit more time into it before I can actually before I can replace my super light because yeah. I actually do like the shape. Um, one thing I'm looking forward to is mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, right, like somebody could come out with um, glass feet for the boat. Oh, for sure, yeah, glass feet, yeah. Just... Yes, because I, because um, I've been, I've been, I can't play my peak performance um, without using glass feet. So mm -hmm. I've been using the ice pad, and my experience has been so much better. Like yeah, Lito and Poster have kind of spoiled us a little bit when it comes <laughs> yeah. to glass feet. Like I did just yeah, you know, something about rare and great PT feet just don't feel like good. You know, they don't they feel that like great anymore. to me. You but, know? but that being but, said, these are some actually pretty great PT feet. Yes, yes. Them all. and most yes. of you guys, right? <laughs> are basically use you know a uh, virgin grade uh PTFP, PTFP. Yeah. so again this should feel literally right at home with literally about 99 exactly. percent of you guys exactly which again is not a bad thing at all no Trust no me. no yeah. yeah so that's pretty much it guys um fanatic thank you for sending out the mouse we really appreciate it seriously so links are be down below this is gus and carlos from hardware unplugged and we'll catch you guys on the next one peace